So, we're here with Abichai um, from MobXL. Tell us what MobXL does and uh, how you're catering to the mobile data explosion. Okay, so MobXL is a world expert in rich media in the mobile environment. What does that mean? Rich media, when we talk about rich media, it's video, it's images. Okay, MobXL, when it was founded back in 2000, understood that there is a big challenge to handle uh, this kind of data, which is, you know, it's complex, it's big in, the, in, in, in its volume and its files or whatever, and there's a lot of uh, factors in the mobile environment which influence it. For example, the network, is there enough bandwidth, is 3G, is there problems with reception, that's one, and the handset factor, right? Okay, there are infinite in the types of handsets or end devices, and we're talking about about end devices today, which is a little bit different than what it used to be, right? Um, so all this together is a challenge, and this is a niche, big niche, where there needs to be an expertise, where there needs to be a solution. And this is where Mobixel has, I think, a world-class expertise, and it um, implemented its expertise in three areas, in three use cases. One is the messaging area, when you send pictures, when you send videos, it's called MMS. And there, we're world leader in what's called media adaptation, or rich media handling in the messaging area. Okay, so when you send a video uh, from one handset to the other through a network, we're the ones who uh, make sure that it gets there. We, we handle it, we process it, and we uh, make sure that it, it, there's the ultimate user experience for the other side. 85% of the MMSs in the world actually flow through our systems. So that's one area. The other area is video delivery, or what's called mobile TV. Okay, also in mobile TV, in the streaming, again, there are all these areas of, okay, you're moving from one place to the other, what happens to the video, pixelization, uh, delay, um, and this is something, again, that Mobixel systems uh, solve. And the third one is the whole issue of mobile broadband and mobile internet. And this is where the mobile data explosion comes into place. Um, and I'll talk to you about that. But before that, I'll just tell you in general that Mobixel is about 250 people or so. And uh, it sells to mobile operators. And it's installed in over 350 mobile operators around the world. I think our customer base is something that we're very proud of. Many of the first tiers, like Vodafone, Verizon Wireless, Europe, US, and, and APAC. So this is kind of where we are since 2000. You know, we've grown. We're still a private company, but if we're not a startup anymore, I would say. Although we, uh, we have the startup spirit. So, yeah. You mentioned, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you said that you, you became an industry leader, that, that uh, you, you have a certain expertise that other companies don't have in this space. Can you tell me a little bit about why or how you guys managed to, to, to capture this slice of the market and where this expertise comes from? I think, okay, we, uh, the people who founded Mobixel are people who come from companies who dealt with videos, rich media, images in other industries, not necessarily the mobile, and they came with this inclination with the algorithms, with thoughts. And we have very early identified this as a very important space. And I think, you know, and we were fortunate enough to identify uh, uh, um, an area which is really critical for the user experience in the mobile space. And this is how we developed very unique algorithms which know how to, you know, take an image and change it quickly in real time, for example, okay, according to your handset. We also, you know, with this came a lot of uh, knowledge in handsets or end devices. What does every end device, what its profile is. So th this is not only, you know, it's not only technology, it's also knowledge which, you know, when you focus on a specific area, you kind of gain very unique knowledge in this area. So we kind of know everything about handsets. We have this database of handsets and end devices, uh, which is makes it easier for us then to implement all kinds of uh, use cases that help you as an end user 
you know, see something which doesn't jump and, and, and comes in a quick way and the image is shown nicely and not with all kinds of X's and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Which happens when you don't use mobile phone. And so, who are your, your clients? They're not the end users. Our clients are not the end users. We're, we sell to mobile operators. Yeah. Uh, we sell to the engineering department. We sometimes sell also to the marketing department since the marketing needs the technology in order to provide new services, okay, like mobile TV or like mobile internet access or mobile broadband access. Um, and um, so, it, you know, with time we became, I, I would say, intimately acquainted with the mobile operator needs. Uh, and, you know, we had some, we have some specific operators who are kind of our, like, more partners, I would say. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, by the way, not in our hometown, but all around the world, mainly in Europe, um, Italy, Switzerland, and, um, and, and I think this is, again, part of our expertise and part of the, our, our success factor is our ability to quickly learn and really be tuned to what the mobile operator needs. And also, specifically today, the mobile operators are under a lot of pressure because they may, as you know, lose their place in the value chain. That's what everybody says. Value chain, you know, that's kind of a word used too much. But what, what everybody means is this. Um, other players, such as Google, such as, uh, the, uh, such as Apple, are providing the end user with applications and are taking away from the ability of the operator to make money from the end user. And the an operator needs tools to kind of counter that uh, trend. This is all the dump pipe slash smart pipe issue. Uh, and this is where we are kind of signing ourselves with mobile operators and saying, okay, we have the tools for you to provide your users with added value. And so what are the trends that you're seeing in terms of mobile broadband? I mean, it's that on the one hand, it's... Like you said, it's a mobile data explosion. And on the other hand, there's challenges like congestion of networks. So how does Mobitzel see you know, itself facing down those challenges? So um, you know, it's a funny thing because we've been waiting for people to use the mobile internet like for years, maybe for a decade, because you know, the 3G networks were there, I think, at the beginning of the decade first years. And nobody used mobile internet. It's amazing. Everybody thought, okay, now it's going to happen. But then all of a sudden it happened. And when it happened, it happened in a boom. This is the explosion. Um, it's a very interesting phenomenon. And the reason it happened, of course, is because of the smartphones, because of the iPhones. All of a sudden there were end devices which gave the user experience and the ability for the end user to use all these videos and the internet and browsing, you can actually browse. I browse on my iPhone more than on my computer almost, and there are other people who do that. So that's one thing that happened. And with this happened the other part of the revolution, and that's the dongles. You know what dongles mm-hmm. are? Yeah, I don't like that word, but still. You know, the things that you plug into a PC, right? So that also the, you, you use the internet through the mobile network. Right with your PC, with your laptop, uh, that's also new. So all of a sudden this happened, and the mobile—that's what happened. The explosion—it's like a real hockey stick. It's you know we've been we the industry has been waiting for the for a mass uh, a mass service, right? A mass adoption of a service since the SMS. The SMS was the last time we had a mass adoption of a data service. Okay. Since then everybody's trying, and nothing is working until the last two years where the mobile internet all of a sudden started and the mobile broadband started. So that's, that's, that's a revolution. Okay, that's a revolution. And you can see it. It's a revolution where you see it's a cultural revolution. People are now acting differently. They are, they, they use their uh, end devices differently. Okay. They use their end devices at home, whether it's the iPhones and maybe now the, the netbooks and the iPads, right? Uh, Okay, so that, that happens. So that, of course, has two 
pressure factors on mobile operators. One, they need to provide their users with a way to accommodate all this data explosion. Uh, and for this, Mobixil provides something called uh, Mobile Internet Platform, where it takes and manages all of this traffic. And also, specifically, we call that Rich Media Mobile Internet. It takes the video, which is a very large part of the data, and is going to be even a large part of the data, and handles it in a way which, on one hand, uh, decreases its volumes to, so to, to treat the congestions or the congested cells, and on the other hand, ensures excellent user experience in the user's side. So that's a very strong proposition we offer to the uh, mobile operators. We're not the only ones who do that. But uh, I think we're very successful in that and very unique in the way because our video knowledge comes into that in a very strong way. So that's, that's one thing. The other thing, which is, by the way, not solved yet, is, okay, once the operator provided the access, what next? What can the operator provide you in the area of the applications? Okay? Because what happens today is the operator provides you with the pipe, which is... You know, a very big thing and an important thing, and we've explained that. But then the operator looks with sad eyes how other companies, now after he's provided the pipe, provide you with content and with applications from app stores which don't belong to the operator, and, you know, they get all the money and they get all the... And, and, and so, again, the dump pipe uh, question... And here, there are a lot of answers, not yet like a winning answer. And this is an interesting, you know, where it would be interesting to do this interview in two years and see what happened in the industry, okay? Because right now in the industry, it's kind of uh, an open question. So what are, um, what, are, what are operators trying to do? They're trying to provide, for example, you know, you have like this uh, toolbar when you... Um, when you browse with all kinds of interesting information, location-based information, okay, which they can provide personalized uh, information and maybe some kind of uh, social media experience together with the messaging. Okay, they use their messages. Messaging is a very operator-oriented thing. And we try to provide the operators the tools to do that as well on top of the actual handling of the traffic. So that's the, 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 the next, the, the other part. But that part, you know, is still, that's still, the jury's out on that, to see, you know, who's going to gain more in the area of the added services, the value-added services on top of mobile uh, broadband and mobile internet. Well, we hope to catch up with you in two years and, and find <laughs> out, or maybe hopefully before then. Thank you very much for coming to explain this, Moritz. Thank you very much.